Hi, my name is Kylie and welcome to Dog Breeds. Woof! <laughs> Do you love dogs and puppies? Is your pet a dog? Wouldn't you love to walk around your neighborhood and be able to name the different types of dogs you see? In this video, you'll become an expert in groups of dogs or dog breeds. There are hundreds of different dog breeds. A breed is a group of animals that looks and behaves similarly. When people first started having dogs in their home, they kept them as helpers around the home, not just as pets. That's why the millions of dogs out there can be sorted into seven simple groups. I will give you examples and explain their differences. Dogs in the working group were meant to help humans with tasks around the house and the farm. Huskies were originally bred to pull sleighs in areas with lots of snow. People depended on them to get around, much like we use cars nowadays. Working dogs are also used as police, military, and security dogs. They are heroes. St. Bernards are also part of the working group, and they also happen to be the heaviest dog breed. The next group is the herding group. Herding breeds like German Shepherds and Border Collies are the easiest to train, but they also need a lot of space. It's good that they are used on ranches and farms. They love to run outside and were bred to help the herds of sheep and other livestock move to the grazing areas on farms. Just like the herding breeds, the breeds from the hound group were never put on a leash. With their good noses, they would accompany their humans on hunts. Hound breeds, like the beagle, can use their incredible sense of scent to track down prey. Bloodhounds, which have the best sense of smell, have even been used to track down criminals for over 100 years. Because of their stamina, they can go hunting for hours without tiring out. The fastest dog on earth the Greyhound is a breed from the Hound group, and so is the Irish Wolfhound, the tallest dog on earth. While hounds can excellently track down prey, breeds from the Terrier group can actually dig into the ground to get to their prey. In England, Terriers were, and still are, used to accompany humans on their hunt for badgers, otters, and foxes. Terriers, like the Jack Russell or Yorkshire Terrier, love digging, so as pets, you have to train them not to create a huge mess in the garden. Another group used as a hunting helper is the Sporting Group, because they are amazing trackers, which means they're really good at finding what they're hunting for. Labrador Retrievers belong to the Sporting Group. They are often used as guide dogs and are the most popular dog breed in America. That's quite an achievement. Only the toy group was bred simply for the purpose of being a pet. They're very, very small. Some toy breeds even fit into a mug. In fact, the smallest dog breed chihuahuas and pugs are also toy breeds. Every other breed is part of the non-sporting group. It basically just means that they were bred for a very specific reason and not necessarily to help around the farm, ranch, or home. With breeds varying greatly in appearances, skills, and personalities, this is a very mixed group. For instance, Dalmatians are a breed from the non-sporting group. Did you know that all Dalmatians are born completely white and they develop their black spots as they mature I know, it's really cute. Puppies of all breeds are born without teeth. It takes a couple of weeks before their teeth come through. They also can't see or hear for at least the first two weeks of their lives. What's really interesting is that once they can hear, their hearing is way better than that of humans. Dogs also use their ears in addition to their tails, and facial expressions to show you what they're feeling. 
Just like dogs wag their tails to say they're excited, they pin their ears tightly to their heads to show you they're uncomfortable. And as you know now, dogs can smell a lot better than humans and have really interesting noses. Have you ever pressed your finger into an ink pad and stamped it on a piece of paper to see your fingerprint? Fingerprints are unique, which means that you are the only person on earth with your exact fingerprint. The same goes for dogs' noses. Every dog has his very own nose print. That's amazing! In case you're wondering what breed a dog is, be mindful that dogs can also breed with other groups of dog breeds. That's why you can encounter mixed bred dogs. My friend's dog is half Siberian Husky and half Rhodesian Ridgeback. She is quite big and looks like a Husky. When dog breeds get mixed, most of the times you can still tell at least parts of their breed. Or dogs like Rufus, who are a mystery mix. Well, now that you've learned some new things about dog breeds, you should check out the Dog Breeds Quiz and other fun online games. Don't worry if you don't match the dogs with their correct names. Through our review options, you can repeat the ones that you got wrong. And if you're really good, you can skip ahead a few rounds and earn rewards. Until next time, woof woof woof! That's dog language for always be clever. Hey, hey. Mixes like Rufus here. <laughs> <laughs> or mystery mixes like Rufus here. Uh, <laughs> or mystery mixes like Rufus.